Hello friends, please subscribe our YouTube channel Allpedia and never miss any updates from us. A lens is a transmissive optical device that focuses or disperses the light beam by means of refraction. A simple lens consists of a single piece of transparent material, while a compound lens consists of several simple lenses elements, usually arranged along a common axis. Lenses are made from materials such as glass or plastic, and are ground and polished or molded to a desired shape. A lens can focus light to form an image, unlike a prism, which refracts light without focusing. Devices that similarly focus or disperse waves and radiation other than visible light are also called lenses, such as microwave lenses, electron lenses, acoustic lenses, or explosive lenses. Types of simple lenses Lenses are classified by the curvature of the two optical surfaces. A lens is biconvex or double convex, or just convex if both surfaces are convex. If both surfaces have the same radius of curvature, the lens is aciconvex. A lens with two concave surfaces is biconcave or just concave. If one of the surfaces is flat, the lens is plano-convex or plano-concave depending on the curvature of the other surface. A lens with one convex and one concave side is convex, concave or menilacus. It is the type of lens that is most commonly used in corrective lenses. If the lens is biconvex or plano-convex, a collimated beam of light passing through the lens converges to the spot of focus behind the lens. In this case, the lens is called a positive or converging lens. The distance from the lens to the spot is the focal length of the lens, which is commonly abbreviated in diagrams and equations. If the lens is biconcave or plano-concave, a collimated beam of light passing through the lens is diverged spread. The lens is thus called a negative or diverging lens. The beam, after passing through the lens, appears to emanate from a particular point on the axis in front of the lens. The distance from this point to the lens is also known as the focal length, though it is negative with respect to the focal length of a converging lens. Convex concave menilacus lenses can be either positive or negative, depending on the relative curvatures of the two surfaces. A negative menilacus lens has a steeper concave surface and is thinner at the center than at the periphery. Conversely, a positive menilacus lens has a steeper convex surface and is thicker at the center than at the periphery. An ideal thin lens with two surfaces of equal curvature would have zero optical power, meaning that it would neither converge nor diverge light. 